Hey, Chels here again. Today we're going to explore some of the different types of magnets and discover some of the amazing things they can do. From picking up metal objects to making things levitate, magnets are like magic. Okay, first up, the magnets that we use in science come in different shapes and sizes and each magnet has a different name. So let's take a look in my magic magnet box. This one is shaped kind of like a horseshoe and guess what? It's called a horseshoe magnet. This magnet is shaped like the letter U and is called a U-shaped magnet. There's bar magnets, rod magnets, ring magnets, and button magnets. Button magnets can also be round too. So what is a magnet? A magnet is a special kind of object that has the power to attract certain materials. Iron and steel are magnetic materials. When I hover this U-shaped magnet over these metal paper clips, they are pulled towards the magnet. Many materials are non-magnetic, like plastic, wood, paper and glass. When I hover the same magnet over these pieces of paper, they are not pulled by the magnet. So, in summary, a magnet can attract magnetic materials, but it will not attract non-magnetic materials. Cool, hey? But how do magnets interact with each other? This part is pretty amazing. A magnet has two poles a North Pole and a South Pole. Watch what happens when I bring the North Pole of a magnet near the South Pole of another magnet. Did you see that? The magnets pulled each other and they weren't even touching. When opposite poles are brought together, they pull or attract each other. Now, I'll bring the south pole of one magnet to the south pole of another magnet. No way! They push each other away. They repel each other. And if I bring the north pole of one magnet near the north pole of another magnet... Yep, they repel each other too. So when like poles are brought together, they repel each other. We can use these properties of magnets to do some pretty cool magic tricks. Let me show you one. Here, I have a wooden chopstick, which is non-magnetic, and two ring magnets. In these ring magnets, the poles are on the top and bottom. I'll put the wooden chopstick through the ring magnet with the north pole facing up. Now I'll add another ring magnet with the south pole facing down. Snap! The opposite poles attracted each other. Now for the magic part. I'll turn over the top ring magnet so the north pole is facing down. What do you think will happen? Here goes. Whoa! The top magnet is levitating. The light poles are pushing away from each other. Let's try with all of them. Whoa! 
Whoa, they're all levitating. That's all I've got time for today, but grab yourself a set of magnets and see what magic you can discover. Catch you later. Thank you.